Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching. Very dark in here, I might turn on my mushroom lamp for some ambiance. Um, I thought I would do a bit of a fashion video today and just share with you some of my favourite outfits. Some of it will be new things, some of it will not be new things, but just the sort of combinations I've been reaching for the most. Um, I'm currently filming a testing basics for white jeans which means I don't really show you what I'm wearing every day in my vlogs because it comes through in testing basics so I thought this would be a nice fashion filler if you will um, the weather's been super weird in London I don't know about where you guys are but London has been grey hot but muggy really overcast then suddenly blazing sun for 15 minutes when I say it's impossible to get dressed, I'm averaging about three outfits a day at the moment because every time I leave the house I'm like, no, up, hot, cold, jumper, jacket, no, umbrella, ah, it's so difficult. Everyone I've been speaking to has been saying the same thing, like whenever I see a friend I'm texting them like, and what are you wearing because I personally don't know how to tackle this. Um, so I thought I would show some of the things I have been wearing and it's all kind of, even though we're in the middle of summer, more transitionally feeling things because of the weather we've been having, which is my personal favourite kind of styling, um, as opposed to like fully winter or fully summer, I like the in-between stuff more. So, let us begin. A lot of it you probably feel like you've seen before, but I'll talk about the pieces in more detail perhaps and make this worthwhile. <laughs> mm. First new thing that I've got here to show you is this jumper. Another navy blue jumper, I hear you cry. I'm just going to shut this so we've got a clear backdrop. Um, and yes, you would not be wrong. This is from a brand called Navy Grey. Uh, Lindsay had it in the grey. And when I said to her a few weeks ago, she lent me it. And then I basically didn't take it off for an entire weekend. Um, and then the brand very kindly got in touch and said, we saw you love Lindsay's, do you want one? And I said, yes, please, I'd love one. Um, I went for navy blue, which I know is excessive. I have my Uniqlo navy blue. Um, a navy blue one from Everlane, which as you guys know is a brand I'm distancing myself from. So I thought, well, there is kind of a gap for me to have a new navy blue jumper. Um, and I wear my Uniqlo one nearly every single day in some capacity, whether it's in my bag, on my shoulder, on my body. Um, so I felt like I could justify another one. Now this is, I don't actually know what fabric it is because it feels more woolen. That is because it is 100% Italian spool, spun super fine wool. The brand is called Navy Grey. This is their relaxed fit. I got it in a size small. It's got really nice, very straight sleeves as you can see. Um, and I liked the details on it like it's got this ribbed neckline and it has the same on the cuffs and the same on the hem too. Um, and it's just a really, really, really great fit. The Everlane one that you guys know I wear all the time is slightly more cropped. Um, so I would still sort of be um, on the lookout for another jumper in that style just because of how versatile I found the length of it. This is a similar shape in the boxiness but just a bit longer. Um, it's really soft, not at all scratchy. I absolutely love it and I have had it for three days and have worn it for three days. I haven't washed it yet so I'll let you know how that goes once I wash it but it's beautiful. Like I said I was sent it but I would definitely spend my own money with this brand 100%. If I'm honest I would quite like it in black as well when it when we go come into autumn so yes so pleased with this um which i'm styling here with just dropped you down lower there um these jeans which are from weekday i talked about these in a vlog when i did a massive excuse my flip flops which i've had on around the house today <laughs> i tried these on in a vlog for you guys when i did a big weekday um denim try on so i'll link that vlog in the description box these are the row jeans they're kind of in like a washed black um but i absolutely love them i love the length of them the fit so good they're given so nicely they fit perfectly the waist everything i am so 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 pleased with them and i've specifically been loving this kind of a combination which is a longer looser leg jean with a jumper or a t-shirt or a tank top again depending on what state the weather is in and then some slides these are my dear francis slides which i have not taken off i've got one other pair of slides that i'm going to talk about in this video but these i have worn nearly every single day they're so comfortable and i just love how they look and they're old season unfortunately she doesn't do these exact ones anymore but all of her slides i just really 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 recommend um 
and these are definitely I think probably my all time favourites from her in terms of how easy I find them to wear um, so yeah it's kind of a slouchy outfit but it just feels so easy and laid back and with some nice gold jewellery and also with a handbag this is another recent gift which has been really popular on Instagram I've been getting lots of questions about it it's from a brand called Scent Agony which is a beautiful brand one second let's move you up again as we were saying, um, it's a beautiful, beautiful brand. Their imagery and everything is gorgeous. Um, they sent me this bag and a like gorgeous tank top, um, which I actually could show you in the video. I've only worn it once, so I wouldn't class it as the most worn thing, but it's really beautiful, so I'll, I'll show you it. Um, actually, I wore it on Saturday night, and I'll put on the outfit that I wore with with that because I felt really nice in it so I'll show you that um but yeah the bag is gorgeous it is a like dark brown well not dark brown like a warm brown woven bag my kind of size of bag where I can fit in a jumper a book a water bottle various face masks whatever the shit I feel like I need on any given day um, and it's got a really good length shoulder strap and just looks really chic and very, very specific reminds me of something that my auntie Jenny used to wear, which means nothing to you guys, but that was my uncle Luigi's late wife. Um, and she was so stylish, and this is very... Mum will be the only person watching this who's going, yes, you're not wrong, but it's very auntie Jenny. Um, but yeah, it's like a great summer bag, but not as niche as, say, like, you know, like the wicker woven basket bags are, which to me are so like specifically summer or on a beach or whatever. This feels a bit more versatile than that um, and I've just been really loving it. Also, um, I'm going to talk about this briefly because again I talked about it in a vlog recently. This Majuri necklace with the extender, um, which is like a separate chain that they sell, which I, you know does what it says on the tin, it extends it so it makes it look longer. It's the perfect length necklace with everything and I love how simple it is. I have my other Majuri one on under here and you, it's just actually really does a good job of showing the difference of with a standard crew neck where it sits. Um, but just for some really simple gold jewellery, let's go back to full length. I feel so good in this outfit. Right, here we go. It's just so simple and easy and I feel it looks like really effortless. I like how it's quite oversized everything but still really, really, really flattering and just feels really chic and easy and everything's comfortable and everything are pieces which are really versatile too so this is outfit numero uno that I have been really much enjoying right guys this is the St Agni top that I wore when I went out on Friday night oh I've got hairy armpits so sorry if you got a flash of that um it's got like a very it's quite hard to show so it's got a big section here that's like elasticated and ribbed and then the top bit's not so it looks quite nice untucked which is something i'm quite a fan of at the moment things being untucked also love the super straight neckline it's also quite loose sometimes i find a neckline like this can dig in to just the very top of your boobs and your armpits um, but this is quite nice and loose so it just has such a nice straight fit and then really nice thick straps so i wore this with these jeans did i wear these jeans what did I wear? Oh no, I wore light jeans, I think, but I like it with these jeans because I've been doing that testing basics. With a new blazer from Arquette, which I wanted to show you. This here is one of my all time favourite jackets from Totem. I reckon I've had it for about five, if not six years now. A long, long, long time. Um, it's just a beautiful, oversized linen jacket with big shoulders, a gorgeous belt. It's one of those things I've never really managed to find something similar of. It's no longer available because it's many years old and just the like lapel-less neckline is gorgeous and um, Arquette have brought out something similar-ish which is what I'm about to show you um, they sent it to me and I even though it's similar I asked them to send me it because I wanted to be able to see if I'd found something that kind of could compare to that totem one to recommend to you guys and this is the closest thing I think I've ever found it's a lot less over oversized on the shoulders which for my current taste I prefer, I've sort of gone off very big shoulders for the time being but I would never um, get rid of any of that, that toe ten piece or any of the other big blades I have because I'm sure it's something that I'll get back into, it's just a matter of how my taste is changing slightly at the moment. Um, 
so yeah this is also a linen mix also with no lapel really flattering like just I think it's beautiful all through the top and um, it doesn't have the belt or anything but the shape of it is so 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 similar and I think it's a really gorgeous piece I got it in a size let me tell you I can't tell you oh it's not got the size on it I'm gonna have to write in the description oh no here we go it's size 36 um, which is my usual size in Arquette. So if you wanted it a bit bigger, you could go over size um, and go one size up. But I personally think this fit is really, really, really lovely. Um, and just such a nice piece. I love the breast pocket it's got here and the angle that it's at. There is just a lot of nice detailing on it. It feels beautiful on and the cut of it feels great. Um, and I actually wore this exact outfit on Saturday night. Just told you another lie. I didn't. I wore white jeans because I'm filming that video. But... This is definitely my kind of current evening vibe. Still got the same slides on, still got the same jeans on and with the bag, but just a strappy top. So then also when you take your jacket off in the restaurant, you feel like you're showing a bit of skin, which is always nice and sort of understated sexiness. Um, and with a big bag, which is just something I'm really into for evenings as well, just for keeping things quite casual. I don't know about you guys, but I've got so used to seeing myself in like baggy jeans, jumpers, loungewear throughout all of this lockdown period that I feel very smart very quickly when I'm getting dressed. So even wearing a blazer on Friday, I was like, oh, I feel so overdressed. I used to wear a blazer nearly every single day just to go out. Um, but I've got so out of the habit of it that I'm sort of easing myself back into being smarter again. And this outfit's a great way to do that. All right, guys, I've got a great shirt on here. This is an Arquette one. So it's been sent to me, they send me things every month that I pick online um, and it is a blue pinstripe shirt with white and black pinstripes on it um, and it's slightly longer at the back with a split here and it's just such a good piece such a good piece for summer like this over a bikini as well would be great on holiday I've worn it a lot with my cos white shorts actually which I'll put on in a moment so you can see what that looks like um, but again, I'm kind of going more on a theme of more transitional looks still. So I've got the weekday jeans on. This is how versatile I've been finding them. Um, and because they're a wash black, they don't feel too smart for day to day. And then I've just put on the St. Agni. Um, no, not St. Agni, the navy grey. Um, the navy grey jumper over. I got mixed up then because I said the word navy and grey and I my head went funny uh the navy grey jumper over my shoulders i really like a look of this shirt with a blue knit over the shoulders um just so effortless and easy and then for the shoes that i have on here are a pair of slides from philippa k and um, they were sent to me uh, maybe like a month ago somehow this something this squishy managed to rub me but i've officially broken them in i don't know how i think my feet are hypersensitive to blisters and I, I know that they are. I get blisters so, so, so easily. Because this is literally like a squishy cloud. There is no hard points on it. But somehow it managed to hurt. So I need to let you guys know that. But I got them in my normal size. And now they're incredibly comfortable. And I wear them all the time. Again, love how they look with the longer jeans. Um, and just this feels like such an easy, effortless outfit that looks a bit interesting. And doesn't feel too boring and then you could put the knit on if it starts pissing it down like it so often does um and yeah this is oh i should get the bag that i've been wearing with this because i've got like the perfect blue celine bag that matches this so let me go grab that okay guys this is the celine bag um it's old celine it's mutiny but it's an old celine piece which i got off vestiaire Again, perfect shape and size, similar to the St. Agni. Like I said, that's my preferred shape at the moment. And um, sometimes, instead of having a jump on my shoulders, I just also like to just have it over there, like some sort of a shape and thing that breaks up the texture of an outfit. Um, I always like, like styling that looks quite practical and sort of looks more effortless and just... I guess more relatable for how people actually operate in their clothes day to day. Um, but this has definitely been an outfit that I have been 
wearing lots also would look really good with blue jeans or even cream jeans or whatever you fancy tailored trousers um, but it's a really 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 great shirt and obviously I've got lots of good things to say about the weekday jeans as well um, but yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this video just three outfits that hopefully are all give you a bit of inspiration because they're all quite interchangeable and all quite easy to oh do you know what I'll just pop on the cos shorts with this to show you what that would look like but that's kind of what I want to demonstrate how versatile certain things can be and even though it's quite hard to get dressed at the moment um, with the weather and whatever you only need a few pieces to hopefully feel different and inspired each day here we go these shorts are still some of the best things I've bought recently I bought these at the beginning of lockdown I believe they're still available and they're just so great they're so comfortable I wear them around the house I wear them out and about and a blue shirt white short combination is just I just think it looks so cool and again effortless and you could put the jumper on also love a navy blue jumper with these shorts I wore that a lot with my um, blue Uniqlo jumper but in any navy blue jumper would look great um, still definitely definitely recommend these shorts and we'll continue to wear them lots and lots and lots um, so yes that will conclude this video which, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed. And everything will be linked in the description box, as always. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.